Yes, yes, what's up everybody, it's Wazel here, and today this is my video response to being tagged by a friend of mine on YouTube, Phil Berto, so check out his channel. Uh, basically, this is a trend going around on YouTube where people in the retro game community, um, there's 10 questions on here, you basically answer it and then tag, you know, however many of your friends you want. So, um, I've decided to tag some of my friends and people I'd like to see answer these questions, so uh, hang out to the end if you want to see who gets tagged. And thanks, Philberto, for tagging me. Pretty fun stuff, so let's get into so it. So, sticking with a retro theme, I've actually wrote my list down on my DS. What type of games do you play? So, honestly, I play any kind of game, you know, literally pretty much anything. You know, there's a few genres I don't really touch, but I love RPGs, first-person shooters. You know, I'm currently playing Fallout 4, that's a ton of fun. I like horror games. I like adventure games, I like survival games, uh, platformers, you know, another genre I'm really into is like crime games, one of my favourite game series, Saints Row, uh, you know, anything, anything, I play anything, I love all kinds of games, I just love gaming. How much time do I spend playing games on average? It can really range to be honest, um, you know, I'd say generally 10 to 15 hours a week depending on how busy I am because I do work. If I'm lucky, 20 hours, maybe 20 hours plus some weeks. Yeah, it depends what week it is. I play mostly on the weekends. But yeah, it really depends how busy I am that week, you know? This is one of my favorite questions here. Do you think video games can be educational? And when Philberto answered this, I really liked his answer. So I agree with Philberto. Yeah, I think video games can be educational. Um, I would probably answer it slightly different to how he did. I'm thinking games like uh, Type In Of A Dead. Uh, that's, you know, a great skill to have. And, um, you know, I agree with what he said, you know, like reading a map, reading a compass, depending on what game you're playing. Um, and there's a ton of skills to be picked up. Uh, even like, uh, it's not really a skill, but like thumb strength, if you want to fucking beat someone's ass in a thumb war. Um, you know, just like learning things, you know, if you play a racing game, you might learn the different cars. If you play a wrestling game or a fighting game, you can learn different moves. Uh, it really depends, man. I think it's a, a basis, you know, it's not all games are educational, but I think games can be educational, definitely. And Typing of a Dead is a great example of that. And, the, you know, your, your reaction time and shit definitely improves playing games. And you've got things like brain training, you know, Professor Layton, playing puzzle games, obviously. There's a ton of ways that I think games can be educational. What do I like about video games? They're fun. That's the best answer I can give. I like the fun aspect. And, you know, I'm really trying to change my channel a little, a little bit. So, obviously, I used to be a Let's Play guy. You know, I'm trying to stay away from my Let's Plays. I am going to continue the Let's Plays I've started, like Fallout and things. But uh, in general, I want to continue with the retro gaming stuff and the collecting aspects of it. And uh, the main theme I want to really push across, or at least the main uh, focus, is fun. You know, I think gaming's fun. That's my favourite thing about games, you know, they're fun. You can play it with your friends, you can play it with your lover, you can play it with your family, you can play it by yourself. It's fun, uh, it's cheap, do you know what I mean? What other entertainment out there can you get 20 hours out of a tenner, for example, or even a pound, depending on what you play, you know, 50p fucking PS2 games and charity shops. You can just get so much entertainment, so much fun out of these things, and there's, you know, a huge variety. I love that as well. I love the storytelling aspects of certain games, but not all games have to be storytelling, you know. Sit around with your friends or your family, play some Mario Party, you're having a fun time. I like fun. Yo, here's one I probably shouldn't answer because my half might be watching out or rat on myself. How much do you spend on video games? Too much. Um, it depends, man. Some months I basically I don't spend anything. Some months I spend kind of a bit silly amounts. Um, I try and be good. You know, I try and give myself hundred pounds uh, a month to spend on video games. I don't always spend that. Sometimes I go over, but typically I give myself hundred quid. Um, although in recent times I've not really been able to spend that amount on games. Um, I'd say, you know what, a better estimate would be 30 quid a month, I think 30 quid's probably a better a better guess. I, and I don't really keep track of it too much, but you know. I do try and stay away from the internet the best I can because I can go a little bit crazy on there. I like to find them out in the wild, cheaper than that. I'd say 30 quid's a good answer though. What is your favourite console of all time? The PlayStation 2 and the Xbox 360 are always my go-to answers, and I can't pick between them. Maybe the 360 will take it just a little bit. I'm not sure, man. They're definitely the consoles I put the most hours into, you know. And I love so many consoles. I love the PS5, the PS4, I love the PS1, I love the original Xbox, you know. I love the GameCube, I love the N64. I love so many consoles. But the two consoles I put the most hours into, the most, uh, the two consoles I have the most nostalgia for is the PS2 and the Xbox 360. I just think they, those two consoles right there are the best catalogues of games out there, man. Uh, the most genres, the most, you know, companies taking risks, new IPs. Those two fucking consoles right there are like the titans to me. 
PlayStation 2, Xbox 360 is my answer. And what is your favourite video game? Now this one's kind of difficult, right? Um, I think Halo 3 would probably be my favourite game if I was to pick one. That game resonates with me the most, that's the most like emotional I guess, because I mean it's so nostalgic man. Um, I just love everything about the game, I think it's actually a perfect game. You know they say things can't be perfect, to me Halo 3 is an absolute 10 out of 10. Perfect game, it does not do anything wrong, I love it to bits. Um, and I love the Fallout series as well, but the original trilogy Halo games, they would have to be my favourite, they'd have to be my pick. I just love them games so much, man. So much nostalgia. What is your favourite video game movie? Uh, I really don't have one, to be honest. I can't even remember the last time I watched a video game movie. Um, I've watched the Hitman movie, the first one they did, not the newest one. I watched the, the, a few of the Resident Evil films. Uh, Resident Evil Degeneration, is it called? Something like that. Maybe that's my pick, that was a pretty decent film. Uh, but I watched a few of those ones. The Silent Hill film was okay. Uh, shit, man. That weird fucking Halo anime was alright. I don't know, I'll watch them kind of films to be quite honest with you. I hope that's a good answer. I don't give a fuck if it's not. Who is your favourite video game character? I've actually wrote some down on this one because off the top of my head I probably struggle. But I wrote down Soap and Captain Price from the Call of Duty series. The Modern Warfare series. Master Chief and the Arbiter. Got to, man. Fwacky and, uh, you know, Rillaboom and Grookey from the newest uh, Pokemon games or Pokemon Sword and Shield. I fucking love them guys, man. Especially uh, a Grookey. And then I've put down, here's, here's an obscure one, I don't think anybody else would ever pick this, but she is one of my favourite video game characters. Hannah Vitro. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway, out of the Fear Effect games. I mean, she's such a badass, man. Uh, if you want to talk about a really cool female character in a video game, you've got one right there. And she does a bunch of crazy ass shit, man. Like, there's this one scene where she like takes her dress off and she shows like a stuffed, you know, to one of the enemies. And then uh, fucking someone's hiding in the bush and fucking gets him from behind. I think she's a badass, man. You know, I like her female video game character and I think she's one of the best ones. And she does not get talked about. That series does not get talked about enough, but there's some great survival horror games. Um, in the same vein, vein as like Resident Evil, you know, with the tank controls, but these shit is fucking like Japanese crazy. I don't want to spoil it too much, but like it starts off normal, and those games go off the deep end real fast. So uh, Fear Effects, such a great title of games, and Hannah Vachel is a fucking badass. What is your least favourite type of video game? That is a weird question. <laughs> uh, I've also wrote down a list here, I put games specifically made for toddlers, because why would I play that? American football games, I don't like American football as it is, but American football games suck, man. Uh, overtly pervy anime games, just weirdo shit, man, I ain't into that. Uh, rhythm games, I don't mean all rhythm games, you know, Guitar Heroes, uh, Band, uh, what was that series called? Band, I forgot what it's called now, but you know, they were fun and everything, and there's rhythm games out there which are cool, but that fucking genre's been overdone to death, man. Uh, I typically can't go much rhythm as it is, I just find them boring as hell. And then my final answer for this one is overtly woke games. Before I piss her off, chill out a minute, let me answer, alright? I'm not talking about if a character's a different sexuality or a different whatever. That's not what I'm talking about, that's not woke to me. What's woke to me is when there's a, a, an agenda being pushed, and the example I want to give is Saint Row, the new one. You've got these criminals, right? They're out there shooting gangsters, they're literally taking off a whole gang warfare and everything. And in the middle of that, they have to stop to talk about climate change and, and environment, you know, what you know, problems for the environment. Oh, you know, let's be careful, we don't want to cause too much environmental damage. Why the fuck would some gangsters, right, who are literally murdering in cold blood fam, why would they care about the environment? That's just an agenda being pushed. And it is a good agenda. I'll say that much, you know. I'm a, somebody who cares about the environment, you know. For an example, I don't eat meat, things like that. I try not to use plastic bottles. I do care about the environment. However, why the Fuck would these people in the middle of a gang warfare give a fuck about that? To me, that's just like an agenda being pushed. I guess woke might even be the wrong word, but just agendas being pushed in games, I can't stand that. And, uh, you know, like I said, this ain't me slagging off certain people or certain things, not at all. You know, I think the word woke gets uh, used way too much, but I think you get what I mean when I say wokeness in games, because it exists and it's annoying as fuck and uh, nobody wants to see it, you know? Okay, and that is it for the 10 questions. So again, thank you, Philberto, for tagging me in this. You know, these things are fun, man. I like doing stuff like this. And it's nice to get tagged, you know what I mean? Uh, I love trends like this. But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue this trend. So I wrote down a list of people that I would like to tag. And um, when you hear your name get called out, I really hope that you also take on this challenge. And let's keep spreading this challenge around. 
because uh, community is good, man. That's my favorite thing about the collecting community, man. Community, let's keep it going. So I've wrote down here, my homie JM Key 10. Uh, he hasn't got like his own channel, but I'll probably invite him on to here. You know, he's a, he's a common guest on, on my channel. JM Key 10, I'd like you to film a video answering your 10 and we'll stick it on the channel. Let's get that going, Jake. And I'm gonna tag Gentlemen of Games. This is a channel on YouTube that I enjoy watching. I think your channel's awesome, dude. And I tag you. So, Gentlemen of Games, please take on this challenge if you would like. And fuck it, I'll throw out one more. Lornan's Retro Game and Tech. I also tag you to take on this challenge, my friend. You've got an awesome channel. Uh, you've got an awesome channel. Sorry, I watch quite often, and I think it'd be really interesting to know what your opinions are on these questions. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the list of these ten questions in my description, so you can copy and paste it or read it from there, whatever you want to do with those. So again, that's JMK10, Lornan, and Gentlemen of Games. I tag you three people, take part in this challenge, and let's spread the love, people. All right, there's my answers. That would be good enough. And again, thanks for Alberto, man. All right, guys, remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. I hate.